86 motorists ticketed, 6 people arrested in St. Mary public order operation. The St. Mary police ticketed 86 motorists for various traffic violations during a joint public order and public safety operation in Port Mary on Friday. The operation, which was led by Deputy Superintendent of Police DSP Kevin Francis and involved health and environmental agencies, also resulted in 6 people being arrested for various offences. We have engaged our stakeholders to make St. Mary safe in this operation, where several persons after visiting food establishments have been prosecuted for not having any food handlers permit, DSP Francis noted. The state agencies he referred to were the National Environment and Planning Agency, National Soil Waste Management Authority, the St. Mary Public Health Department, and the St. Mary Municipal Corporation. DSP Francis said the operation was not to oppress the people of Port Mara, but for their own safety. When you block the pedestrians from the sidewalk with your stall, you are going to force the pedestrian to walk in the road, which will become a safety concern, he stated. On the matter of safety, DSP Francis employs residents who may be stealing electricity to cease and desist from doing so considering the potential harm that can occur. I think that you become compliant with the Jamaica Public Service and be mindful of what can happen. Bad children can become electrocuted, he warned. He further implored residents not to harbor persons of interest in a crime and instead call the nearest police station. Woman ditches vehicle following car flip on Washington Boulevard. A woman abandoned her vehicle after the car she was driving flipped landed on its side inside a service station on Washington Boulevard in St. Andrew early Saturday morning. It is reported that the unidentified woman was not hurt in the incident. Reports from onlookers are that around 2.40 a.m., the car was seen gliding through the air, later clipping a wall and ultimately landed on its side. I saw the car in the air. As the car landed, the lady ran out and said, What we must do? And then she took off down the street. She's a lucky girl, that's all me know. Cause all the airbag them fly. And she no get no injury, no blood, nothing. No one no hurt. She just take off down the road. And I witnessed it, Ted. The onlookers theorized that the driver of the vehicle may have been running from the police prior to the incident, noting that law enforcement officers were quickly on the scene. The driver of the ill-fated vehicle is rumored to have been coming from a party. Man fatally shot in De La Vega City, Spanish Town The police in St. Catherine are probing the murder of a man who was shot in the face in De La Vega City, Spanish Town on Friday. Killed was Gregory Larson, otherwise called 2030, of De La Vega City. It is reported that about 10.15 a.m., residents stumbled upon Lawson's body in the vicinity of a bar and summoned the police. Lawson had what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the face. He was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Spanish Town Criminal Investigations Branch is probing the incident. Alleged gold thieves granted $50,000 bail. Two men accused of stealing a goat valued at approximately $350,000 was granted bail in the sum of $50,000 each in the St. Catherine Parish Court. The accused are Dane Thomas, 23, of Towards Meadows in Spanish Town and 31-year-old Ricardo Thompson of a Spanish Town Road address. The case is to return to court on June 17. Allegations are that on April 25th, the complainant securely locked up his goat inside a pen. The animal was allegedly stolen by the accused, who placed the goat in a car and sped away. The incident was reported to the police and an investigation was launched. The vehicle was intercepted in Prospect in Bogwalk and both men were held. Both accused were arrested and charged. Education Minister urges students using AI to avoid plagiarism. Education Minister Faber Williams is urging students to avoid plagiarism by ensuring that they use information and credible sources properly. Mrs. Williams was responding to questions about concerns expressed by teachers that students are using artificial intelligence AI to plagiarize their schoolwork during the post-cabinet press briefing. She said while the ministry has not received an official complaint, it is aware of the concerns and as such, her advice to students is use technology responsibly. Noting that prevalence of AI, Mrs. Williams said efforts are being made to help teachers better understand the technology. We want our students to have access to 
all uh, the information that's out there. We'd love for them to make sure that they attribute um, whatever it is that they use within their within their exams, within whatever work they turn in, they should uh, adequately ensure that they have, um, you know, um, that they ensure that they uh, indicate where that information is coming from, who's the author, make sure they use quotes if they're taking something from somebody else's work, and that that is clearly put footnoted in the work that they turn in. The JTC is offering an AI to teachers to improve their understanding of what this is. It's called Embracing AI, Artificial Intelligence for the Teacher. That is the real deal. And we implore our teachers to um, understand more about it um, so that they and their students can engage in a fruitful way uh, about artificial intelligence, its use, uh, as we go forward, because um, I know that it's only going to expand more in our lives. NEPA calls on Jamaicans to consider ways to help safeguard the natural environment. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, is calling on Jamaicans to consider the ways in which they can help to safeguard the country's natural environment and ecosystems. The call comes as NEPA gear up to observe National Environment Awareness Week 2024 from June 1 to 7 under the locally adapted theme, Accelerating Ecosystem Restoration, a Call to Action. Manager of NEPA Ecosystem Management Branch, Monique Curtis, says it is important not only in observance of the week, but generally, for Jamaicans to become aware of how they can help to safeguard features of the natural environment that have not yet been negatively affected. Also, how they can contribute to restoring areas that have been previously disturbed. So, how can you prevent the environmental impact of improper dumping activities, avoiding land clearances activities on this permitted, and not engrossing into a mangrove space? These are some of the simple ways in your day-to-day -day activities that can help us maintain our ecosystem. If it is that you observe these illegal activities, report it to the agency so that we can get in and investigate and stem the activity she stated. Curtis added that the people can also play their part in environment protection and restoration by volunteering for cleanups and other activities. Persons who sign up, for example, for beach cleanup activities, as simple as it may seem, you're helping to restore the ecosystem. By removing solid waste from that space, you're safeguarding the biodiversity as well as the ecosystem service that you get from the beach being in a pristine stage. NEPA has been targeting mangrove ecosystems that are under threat for restoration and rehabilitation activities. Among other activities for the week this year is a mangrove habitat rehabilitation project to be undertaken by the agency in Salt March, Julani on March 7 in observance of World Ocean Day. Cartel's hometown disappointed at court denies release. A group of supporters of Adija Palmer, the fame entertainer known as Vibes Cartel, gathered along a mango tree in Waterford in Portmore St. Catherine on Thursday to hear the outcome of the petition. The petition was filed by Cartel's lawyer Isabel Cannon, who sought the release of the artist and two other men with whom he had been convicted. However, their hopes were dashed as the announcement over the radio made it clear that it was not to be. There was visible disappointment among the supporters, whose faces fell as they quickly dispersed into the cluster of houses in the era known as Gaza City. They refrained from vocalizing their regrets that their hero would remain incarcerated. Her pocket, a resident, however, openly lashes the legal system, suggesting that it has not been fair to the entertainer, whose 2014 murder conviction was questioned in March, and the court set to determine whether there would be a retrial. Don't see why they could not grant him bail. He's a sick man and they should let him out so he can attend to his medical issues until the hearing retry, Puckling told reporters. I am very disappointed because I was hoping that I would see the boss. Another supporter who requested not to be named blamed the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions arguing that Cartel is fighting a system determined to punish him for their mistakes. The artist is being punished by the system. The DPP office is calling the shots and they don't want to see him back on the streets. I have no confidence in the system here in Jamaica, the supporters stated. Please remember, 
to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.